We are joined now by Michelle with Rescue One and her furry friend. Michelle, who is this that you brought in? This is Big Earl. Big Earl with this red sunglasses. Oh, oh God bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Big Earl with the sunglasses. I love it. What's oh, his story? God. He is um, about three, three years old, and he came. He was found as a stray running. He was... Um, really skinny when we found him and he you know didn't not have any owners. I was gonna say wow yeah yeah he's not so skinny anymore he's been with <laughs> us for about eight months so he's really doing well he's yeah. been to the um, pups for parole training program and cool. he graduated you know top of his class he's really well behaved he knows all the basic commands sit stay lay down shake yeah. you know he goes to his crate potty trained so he's a, he's a really great dog. Yeah, and did you say his age? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. So really I feel like he's kind of the perfect dog to take if you're looking right now. Three's a great age, Three and is. also to have him fully trained coming into your home, oh all the gosh. work's done for you. Yes, he knows his commands, and the dogs that go to the training program, they have a folder that we get from the trainers, so it talks That's about cool. all the things that they know, so it's really useful um, tool for adopters mm -hmm. when they have those instructions and everything from the trainers. He's yeah. such a good boy. He is, he is a great dog. Now, if there was someone out there interested in adopting Big Earl, remind us how that process works, the rescue one. Yeah, we have an application. It's online um, on our website. It's easily accessible um, through the adoptions tab. And you submit the application, we review it, and if it you know, would be a good fit for him, we would coordinate a meet and greet and see how he does with everyone in the house and how, um, he does if you have any animals, you know, mm -hmm. how they would, he would do. He generally gets along really well with female dogs and male dogs. Okay. Um, and cats, he's, he's been with, around cats before. They just need to be mm -hmm. familiar with dogs. What about kids? Is there a... He does pretty well with kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's a good boy. I mean, he's big. So mm -hmm. toddlers mm -hmm. sometimes, if they're learning how to walk, you know, big dogs Could can knock accidentally them over, but knock yeah, him yeah. over. But he, he is a good boy and he's um, well trained. So that mm -hmm. definitely helps. Yeah, you know, definitely goes commands. a long way. It does. Now, obviously, he's a big guy, which is great. But what, like, are we looking for a home? Does he need a yard? Like, what do you think the best environment's going to be? I think for him to be most successful, um, he would need a house setting mm -hmm. with, a, with a lot of area to run and play. Um, a fence yard would be great for him. Yeah. Not necessarily necessarily required because he does have good leash skills and he has had some training um, but he you know so if it was a, a really good fit that that would be considered it's not necessarily it sounds like he might be a good running buddy too if you're he talking about his really good leash skills yeah, a big guy you might have trouble keeping up with him exactly <laughs> he's about 95 pounds so he's oh he's not God. a little he could boy. take you for I was gonna say that's a workout in <laughs> of itself a yeah maybe that's a new workout we could start for you you love working mm, out so much yeah but I'm allergic to big girl that's the problem <laughs> but for someone who's not this sounds like a great situation for them so, um, but here's the thing. There's people who are maybe not in the place to adopt someone like Big yeah. Girl just yet, but there's fostering opportunities as well, which is a big part of what you guys do. Yes. Remind us how the fostering works. So, same scenario as the adoption. There's a foster application on our website. Earl, come here. He's interested by something I know, he there. smells something. That's okay. And you submit the foster application. Mm -hmm. We have an orientation that goes through um, the training to help answer questions. Uh, submitting the application doesn't require you to foster. Um, you get to pick your foster. He also, uh, or we also, um, you know, require if you have pets that they need to be spayed or neutered so mm. there's not any accidental litters mm -hmm. that, that could occur because some animals that come into our care are not spayed or neutered. Mm -hmm. So we need that and vaccines to be up to date okay. um, is something. Um, but we don't have any requirements as far as needing fenced yards. Earl, come here. Um, needing fenced yards or, you know, we have various ages from seniors to college students, apartments, houses, all those types of things that, that can be fosters. So if there's a person who says, like, the girl's a dog for me. What do they do? <laughs> um, they would submit an application, go to our website, submit the application, put his name, Big Girl, on there, and we would process it, and hopefully he would be a great match. Yeah. Um, Big Girl, your owner's out there. I'm yeah. sure of it. He deserves a I'm great home. I'm sure moment. of it. Yes. Well, Michelle, thank you so much for yeah, being here. We thanks. hope Big Girl finds a great home. Thank you. All right, well, stick around because Tom has more from Hy-Vee. Plus, a special Mother's Day deal from a local business next.